In today's video, uh, we're going to work on solving for x when given uh, two interior angles of a triangle and an external angle of the same triangle. Uh, you may have seen a previous video by me about how to do this, and I'll be honest, that was a complicated process, and I had a realization when looking over some stuff that uh, there was an easier way. So here's that. Now I make mistakes too. That's okay. Um, so what we need to understand is inside a triangle, there's 180 degrees total. So that means 4x plus 45 plus this blank space is equal to, 40, uh, to 180 degrees. Excuse me. We also need to understand a straight line has 180 degrees. So this blank plus that equals 180 degrees. We can use some algebra uh, and solve some equations to simplify this process to say that this interior angle plus this interior angle equals this external angle. And that will work every single time. So it's quite simple. All we do is write down this plus that equals that. So 4x plus 45 equals 13x. And now we're just going to solve a, really just a two-step equation. Uh, the first thing we want to do is, is we want to get the variables to one side. So variables uh, don't look like numbers, but they are numbers. right? They're uh, known numbers, so we can treat them as such. So I'm going to just subtract 4x from both sides here. And I'm left with 45 equals 9x. Now I need to remove the coefficient by dividing both sides by 9. And we get 5 equals x, or x equals 5. It is an equation, so you can read it both ways. So see, that was a much simpler process than, than uh, how we previously learned it. Excuse me. All right, so let's do it again. So on example 2, we are saying that the sum of the two interior angles is equal to the exterior angle. So 3x plus 66 is equal to 14x. We remove... First, we need to move the variables to one side by subtracting 3x from both sides. And we're left with 66 is equal to 11x. Then we remove the coefficient by dividing both sides by 11. x is equal to 6. All right, we should check our work. Uh, plug it back in. So 6 times 3 is 18. 18 plus 66 is what, 84. 6 times 14 is 84, 84 equals 84, so we got the right answer. See, much more simple process. Um, sorry for the confusion. 